Jewish Blind Dates, a film from Switzerland. Obviously, you can like if you're if anybody happens to be Jewish in the audience, you, there's a lot of jokes, there's a lot of funny jokes. But at the same time, if you're a goy, you still are still laughing. You still get the film. So it's like there's two different versions of the film you can watch. If you're Jewish, obviously there's all kinds of Jewish jokes and Jewish religion jokes. But at the same time, you can still enjoy it if you're not Jewish, which is a good. It's a good little mixture. It's a hard film to pull off, especially in a comedy. And like I think they kind of pulled it off. But what do you guys think of this film? Jewish Blind Date. Uh, the one thing I was just going to say, I thought the pacing was amazing. I thought it moved really well. When I looked down, I was like, wow, that was 16 minutes? Yeah. It didn't feel like it at all, because it just had a really good way of starting off fast, and then it slowed down in a, in a good way, and then it just kept on picking up. I just thought it was really well done. It was very good filmmaking. Uh, so. Very fast, 60 minutes. You are right on that. Very funny, and I, I was worried that a French film, I don't understand the language, I might not get the jokes, but I totally got everything. The, the subtitles were really well done. You could read them, and yet they were totally unobtrusive. Uh, very funny. The pacing, as he said, was very good. Uh, the characters well acted. The one thing I didn't get, I guess, was what was his motivation for trying to deceive her? She wanted to find a Jewish husband, but we didn't really know why was he there. Okay, I think someone wants to say, make react to that comment. Um, he was taking the place of his Jewish friend because they wanted to go skiing, so he sent his friend in to impersonate him because he thought it was lame and didn't want to go. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I didn't understand. Yeah, that. I'm, like I'm sure his family is pressuring him to be more Jewish and do this thing. So the friend, the the the, the Jewish friend doesn't want to do it because he, you know, he just wants to he wants the blonde girls and the ski slopes, right? So, as he says in the in the, in the film, it's got a little nice romance to it too, right? Kind of ends the the festival on a nice like kind of romantic. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish or. Whatever, whatever religion you are, whatever. Romance is romance, right? This is the new generation. Actually, more to your point, um, what I loved about it was, you know, you try your best to find the right circumstances to meet the type of guy that you think you're gonna like. And this is why I think it's kind of true to life, is she's working to try to get the exact type of relationships she thinks would be good for her. And somebody who'd probably be great for her shows up in the most amazingly wrong circumstances. But it, yeah, it was beautifully done. So it's, it's, it's romantic because it, because again, I love, and that's where the romantic comedies work is when you're not looking and that turns up right on your lap beautifully. Yeah. So yeah, I, I loved it. I think it, it doesn't matter um, what your background is. Because of that, it makes it perfect. It's just beautiful. I really enjoyed how my perception of Mary Lou changed from the beginning where she got out of the car and I was thinking, you know, a little bit mousy, a little bit sort of timid. Uh, but then at the very end, you know, she was a very determined woman, and I, I just enjoyed that transition, even though I'm sure she was the same person the whole way through, but my perception of it certainly changed. Yeah, it's interesting what you just said, because like in terms of character arcs, the two main characters change drastically in the 16 minutes that you watch the film, and it is a film that's intended to make you laugh, too. So, But there's a lot of story depth going on as well. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I got a lot of the positive reactions of this film. I guess the symbolism in terms of when she gets rid of her contact lenses and how that causes like the next transformation because yeah. earlier she says I, I know physical contact but right when she comes back she right away you know touches the person and everything so it's almost as if the uh, taking off of the contact lens kind of takes off the uh, 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 false uh, veneer that she was wearing you know so yeah. yeah because she's becoming more real as the film progresses like in ter terms of like jumping on, on the bandwagons of your religion and finding love, you just find love in a, in a natural way. The more real you are, she takes off the necklace and she becomes pure in a way, in a sense, right? So that's sort of, it's like, like as the lady said in the fourth row, like about, it's classic romantic comedy where it's, the, you know, love happens in the most mysterious ways.